In today's video, I will teach you how to use the free select tool in GIMP. Let's get started. There are many selection options with different purposes in GIMP, but in some cases, you will need to manually select pixels or parts of your image, especially if the image is too complex and detailed, or if you would like to select something more specific. The free select tool might not be as efficient as the other tools, but it gives you more control over what you select. To use the free select tool, Go to the toolbar, which is by default located at the upper left side of the editor. And in case your toolbar is hidden, you can simply go to the menu bar, windows, and select toolbox, or simply use the shortcut key control B. Now, the free select tool is bundled up with two other tools. So depending on which of those tools you recently used, you would have to click and hold on either the scissor select tool or foreground select tool to switch to the free select tool. By default, free select tool should be the pre-selected tool out of those three. But you can also just press F on your keyboard to quickly switch to free select tool. To make a selection with this tool, you can either click and drag to draw an outline of the selection that you want or you can simply click once to set your first point, then click again to set a new point. When using the click to set point method, you can also hold down the control key for exact angles. But you can also use both methods in one selection. The most important thing is to connect the first point to the last point so that everything inside those points that you've set will be selected. But if you intend to do the opposite, wherein you select everything outside of the points, you can simply right-click on the selection and go to Select and Select Invert, or simply use the shortcut key Control i The selected area would have an animated white dotted outline, but don't worry because you can still edit the selection. Simply press and hold the Control key to show the anchor points that you've set. Unfortunately, if you use the freehand select method, you're only going to have one or two anchor points that you can use to rotate and scale the selection. But if you use the set point method, you will have the same number of anchor points as the points that you've set before. Therefore, the more points you set, the more you can adjust the shape of the outline. If you wish to move the selection as a whole, you can simply press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard and click and drag on your selection wherever you want. If you would like to add more to your selection, simply press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard and draw another selection path. You can expand a selection through this, or you can add another selection from across the canvas. And to deselect, simply press shift Control a If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.